So this is the first graph is decomposition cirrhosis, and below this threshold is there is no chance of recovery. Uh, this threshold that's when multi-organ failure start. Whereas in a, in an ACLF when there is gradually worsening of liver functions, there's a rapid fall at this at this point. That is when the acute insult has developed. At an acute tension, this rapid fall of liver functions, and if you try to salvage these patients in this window period, there is still a chance of recovery or recompensation. Whereas, if we do not identify patients in this window period, they fail to recompensate and they progress to multi-organ failure. So, in a study, it was seen in a large proportion of patients with ACLF, around forty-nine percent of patients could be. Recovered from ACLF if they were identified in the golden window period. As per the European classification, Cliff SOFA score was defined in this in this cohort of around 1,600 patients in ICU of ACLF. They had seen patients with organ failure. They had defined liver failure as bilirubin more than 12, creatinine more than or equal to 2 is kidney failure, uh, encephalopathy more than Grade three, as per West Haven classification, is three or four is cerebral failure. Coagulation failure is INR more than two point five or platelet count less than twenty thousand. Circulatory failure, that is hemodynamic uh, uh, instability, needing vasopressor requirement, and lung failure is worsening of ventilation perforation, that is when PaO two by FiO two. Uh, more than 100 or to less than 200 is lung failure. So the they also graded the ACLF as ACLF grade zero is no organ failure or single non kidney or single non kidney organ failure OF means organ failure with creatinine less than 1.5. And they said 28 mortality in their study was 4.7 percent in patient with ACLF grade zero. ACL of grade one, single kidney failure, that is creatinine more than two, or cerebral failure with creatinine 1.5 to 1.9, that is kidney dysfunction, but not kidney failure. And that led to 22% mortality at 28 days. So what is the timing for transplant? What is the best timing for transplant? In this excellent paper, uh, in a large database, they had seen day three to day seven, that is the most important period of defining this, of identifying this patients of ACLF and treating them and stabilizing them. So if we can transform these patients within this first week of presentation, they usually have, if you see here, the outcome of 95% at one month, early transplanted patients, day three to day seven ACLF, uh, with grading of ACLF two or three that is more than two organ failures or even more than three organ failures. They had a survival of 95% at 28 days, 90% at 90 days, and 80% at 180 days, almost as any other liver transplant patient. Whereas those who were non-transplanted, they had a mortality of, they had a survival of only 23% at 28 days and abysmal 10% at 180 days.